We actually woke up probably around six o'clock that morning when a couple of mortar rounds went off. You know, truck actually drove through and then blew itself up right outside of our barracks. That morning, there was a Marine, uh, Travis Mannion, who had run all the way across the compound with a couple of Marines behind him. He was the first person to run up the stairs after me and join me on the, on the roof that day. And I turned to Travis and I said, hey man, you got it? And he said, yes, sir, I've got your back. And, and that, was, that was the last thing that Travis Mannion ever said to me, uh, because a couple of weeks later, um, he died defending his fellow Marines in Fallujah. The decision that I've made, the decision that so many of the veterans who we've worked with have made, is that we're gonna make sure that, they're, um, that they didn't die for nothing. Uh, that, the, that the sacrifice that they made is going to be valuable because of the way that we live our lives. And I think that you know, Memorial Day is coming up. I think the greatest way that we actually remember these men and women who've given their lives is by making sure that their values, their values of hard work and service and sacrifice, that those values live on.